Those moments where I feel good about my life. This is kind of cool that we're doing all of this. Larry, you're appreciated. Bobby, I'm glad to have you part of the team. Carlos, my brother-in-law, I'm appreciating you. I'm having one of those moments. I'm having one of those moments. Motor's going in, um, Harvey, into your 66 now. Harvey's 1966 Frankenstein. We say that with the utmost respect, though, and it's because she has Maverick parts in her. Harvey goes into automatic smile when the video camera goes on. I love that. So Larry, Larry's burning the midnight oils, helping us out here. They, we, they, oh, it feels late to me, I guess. Probably because I'm sitting down. Um, there. <laughs> I don't feel guilty. I don't know why I don't feel guilty. Um, the uh, they just attack. They they seated the torque converter. You guys have seen um, how to seat a torque converter videos. If you guys didn't see it and you want a how-to video on how to seat a torque converter, search how to seat a torque converter Mustang Medic and you'll see us seat a torque converter on whose car did we do? Tor uh, it doesn't matter. All of them. All of them. So the torque converter is seated. They have now tightened up the bolts onto the flex plate to the torque converter. It's now one unit. The transmission is in its guide pins, which are very important for the transmission because if you do not have guide pins and you don't have alignment, you will ruin your engine and your transmission. Never put an engine on without two guide pins, one on both sides. Right, Larry? That's right. Larry knows that from, from uh, experience. Okay. And there's his experience right over there. So they, they're about to do the thing that they've done Woo! before a million times. You guys have seen it. They're going to lift that motor up, and that motor is going in to this beautiful engine compartment. We're fully committed. We are putting this whole car apart together because Bobby and Sky measured up all the fenders and the hood on it after it was done. Then after Sky spot welded it, then it welded on. So you can cut the tension with a knife, lining, aligning fenders and hood onto this car. So here it goes, guys. A very high-speed video of an engine going into a 66 Mustang convertible. Looking all gorgeous, Harvey. Yeah, got a new caliber blend the whole system. Pick it, pick it, pick it. Pick it. So anyway, I've been checking. Whoa! Holy crap! Back her up. Back it up. Sky, where are you? Get in there, man. That was scary. Take her up. That was a scary moment. Carlos is just, I'm a bull, and I'm pushing I'll it pull. in. Fortunately, Larry had the presence of mind to make yeah. sure the transmission went through the hole and not banging into that our new metal. Fantastic. That was pretty close, Carlos. Was good. good presence of mind, Larry. Yeah. So here we go. No comment. No comment. Here we go. Putting in a 289 into a 66 high speed. Here we go. That's our best Penny Hill by uh, Bobby Deseret and William Weeding. Thank you very yeah, much. Thank, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Okay, I was forced into doing a voiceover here because it appears the camera stopped, but there was a big celebration. We danced around um, half naked. No, just kidding. But your motor's in. Yeah, Rob, I was. Motor's in. Check.
take the frustration out of restoration. Waiting for the Mustang, waiting for the call, waiting for the call for the next Mustang. Now wait a minute, we've got a Mustang, Sky. Let's go!